All right, team, what's going on? I'm Tim Jenkins, and welcome to All Things QB. And today we are checking in on Caleb Williams and his first career NFL action in preseason week two for the Bears, but his first action under center. But you football junkies like me, I need you guys to jump over to our Patreon account. There's a link in the description. It's got more clips. It's got longer breakdowns. Plus, it means the world to me that you guys are willing to support this channel. So, team, I'm excited about this one. I thought we saw a lot of good from the kid. I think it's time to start talking about, hey, Let's believe the hype a little bit with this kid. I think he put a lot of great stuff on tape. I'm excited for it. So without further ado, let's jump into the film. All right, team, we are opening it up with Caleb Williams' first career pass attempt. We've got a little empty stick. So we're going to let this clip roll and then we'll start breaking it down. But you can see him kind of work the progression. Boom, bails out of the pocket. This, of course, we get the holding penalty. Which was funny because yesterday I tweeted, I said, hey, I think we got to, you know, the line's going to have to get used to Caleb extending the play. And people are like, oh, yeah, because, the you know, there was a statue back there last year, which is a great point, right? Justin Fields moved around a lot. I do think Caleb Williams can extend the play a little bit more effectively horizontally versus vertically and climbing and kind of running. That's my take. But listen, who am I? Here we go. What we've got is we've got this mandatory outside release vertical, okay? This guy is not in our progression. We've got our stick route here, okay? He's going to break out against man, turn out against zone, turn in against void, okay? This is our first progression, this stick route. Then we've got a little cross or a little over route here from this guy, our tight end right here, okay? He's our second progression. Then we've got the shallow runner right here. He's our third progression. We've got our guy all the way outside, our back here on the under. He would be our fourth progression, Okay, not really sure we'll ever get to it, but okay, that's how this thing should could sh should shake out. First and foremost, love the feet. Love that his left foot's back. We've got a little one skip here. Boom, trying to play on time to this stick route. Okay, stick route, we're on a full break out because it's man coverage. He doesn't like it, which I don't blame him. He gets off it. Man, I would love to see us try to layer this shot, right? Over this guy, in front of this guy, to this over route. Now, granite, okay? So easy for me to say in the office, a whole nother thing for you to execute on Saturday, right? Because we play on Saturday, but on Sundays in the NFL. With that being said, I think, you know, hey, we've got this marked as a no grade. Do I think it's a miss? Yeah, you could make the argument. However, the fact that we extended the play, ended up throwing it away, it's not really a bad, right? It's not really a bad. And like, listen, look, you guys look at this right now. Let's say he hangs in this pocket here. It's a messy pocket, but let's say he hangs. It's not an easy throw. This is only five vertical yards of separation, right? To have to layer it over this guy in front of this guy, it's a high degree of difficulty throw. He also is that kind of player. So I think we will see that from him soon, okay? Now we've got our first third down as a pro. First third down as a pro, and he is going to do a great job of working his progression. What we've got is a little triple stop. We'll draw it up in a second. Okay, what we've got is an absolute laser to DJ Moore though. So we got triple stop here. What we're doing is third and long. We're gonna lean all the way inside and we're gonna sit down. Okay, that's our first progression. Both of our outside guys, okay, are gonna run this corner stop. Okay, look, corner stop. And these are both our second progressions based off a of squeeze. What does that mean? That means we've got our linebackers here and based on how they squeeze, we then decide who we're going to throw to, okay? So I want you guys to watch how this unfolds because what they're what the Bills are getting to is cover three robber, okay? Cover three robber, what does that mean? It means we've got, look here, we got deep third, deep third. We've got this guy almost out of your screen. He's the other deep third, right? So we're dividing into threes, deep third, deep third, deep third. This guy's going to be curl the flat. He's going to insert as the middle hook. We got middle hook here, curl flat. The robber means... Instead of traditionally like a safety normally plays curl the flat, he's going to insert and he's going to be a middle hook player, okay? You guys see it to where that middle hook player though squeezes. Watch how this middle hook player squeezes here. Plus we get a little extra float here to that flat route. Opens that window wide up. Caleb does a great job of scanning it, right? Checking down the middle, working outside. Here we go. Check it here. You can see him, look at him, eyes down the middle. Okay, doesn't like it, gets off it, drives the ball, DJ Moore, big time stuff. Really, really, really good stuff here. This is hilarious. This is, we've just got traditional screen game, right? This is just screen to our back, okay? We've got screen to our back. However, this, <laughs> so normally what do you see? Okay, obviously he gets it to him. 
We'll let it run. Okay, now we got to play it back. So what do you normally see in the NFL from these guys? Hey, we set our base and we retreat. What happens though is he times up the blitz actually pretty well. I want to say it's him. No, it's right here. He times up this blitz pretty well and he actually gets so far past our guy who's trying to quick set him that Caleb can't really retreat. So instead, Caleb jumps up in the pocket in the screen game. It's why he almost gets hit here by 90, gets the ball out of his hand, but you can see it's definitely screen. That's why these two guys are here ready to go. It's 100 out of 100, a screenplay. But it's just like the funniest way to get to screen I've ever seen. With that being said, it works out perfect. And I mean, talk about the <laughs> arm ability to climb the pocket and then just flip this thing. It's hilarious from the tight. You guys will love this one. This one's just like all time. Look at this. Climb up, flip it. Yeah. You just... You got to flat out love that. You got to flat out love that. Okay. Now we've got a little slider to DJ Moore. In love with this play design from Waldron. Okay. This I am absolutely in love with. Okay. Let's, let's play it back. Let's talk through it. So we're going to motion. Okay. But we're selling run this way. Caleb's going to boot out, obviously. Now, so traditionally what you have is like a fullback or somebody, right? And he's our slider because it we make it look like we're going to slice and cut this backside guy off for a cutback run. But instead, we're using DJ Moore now as the slider, except now he's the guy in the flat. And it's like, then we're able to generate, look at this, DJ Moore catching the ball with one, two, three, four, five, six yards of separation between him and the nearest defender. And I have to say, with how he was after the catch last season, that's something you have to love as a Bears fan is seeing that kind of play design, that kind of creativity coming. I'm a big fan of it. Plus, I love Caleb with the reverse out. I love the rip footwork there, which means we're reversing out from under center instead of fronting out. So I'm a big fan of it. I'm a big, big, big fan of it. Okay, team. Hey, listen, we are halfway through this video. It's halftime, okay? I need you guys to do me a favor. If you've enjoyed it so far, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and then comment for the algorithm. A little FTA, comment for the algorithm. It would mean the world to me. Even if you don't want to jump over to Patreon and support us financially, if you're just willing to hit that subscribe button, comment, you can just literally comment FTA. It means for the algorithm. It'd be huge for me. Like the video. We're going to keep it going, but that was a little halftime break, a little halftime announcement for me. Okay, this we've got the Comet Dime. I know you guys are going to love this one. I love this one. I'm such a big fan of this. This one was another on the run thought he looked really dang good on the move. I think the fact that they can get into this boot game effectively is going to be huge this season. Okay, but let's talk through it. What are they doing here? How are they setting this up? Okay, we've got our obviously our run action here. We've got Komet. He's working the corner route. And then we've got our flat control here. Really, traditionally, it's a ladder read, you know, vertically, right? The same way you climb a ladder. One, two, three. Okay. Three, when I draw three up there like that, it's just this guy who's running this uh, this chase route. So whether he's down here as the chase or we're getting him high as the chase, that's really like your third ladder. I know that was kind of confusing how I drew that, but get into a second progression, delivering an absolute missile. So, you know, the, the title of the video, right? Hey, let's believe the hype. I am... Yeah, it was... It's one of those that you want to be cautiously optimistic, right? Because we've been fooled before in Chicago. You know, we've been fooled, but biscuits, you got to love these kind of plays, man. And it's a great cash by Komet. This one's tough on my buddy Komet. It's just a flat out drop. Okay, we're going to talk through this one. I've got this marked as a good, but we have to talk through it. So really, what we've got here is, you know how we saw the double corner stops? Remember on the third and long, where both those outside guys were in the corner stops? You guys remember that one? Well, now what we've got is we've got just literally, we're running double corners, okay? We got double corners with the flat control, boom. So Caleb, obviously he feels sync in the defense, right? When we say feel sync, he just feels coverage. He feels guys getting way off and he thinks, okay, hey, first down, I'm gonna take my wide open guy, we'll get six, which it's hard for me to fault a guy playing like that. And again, do I know what's getting communicated in their quarterback room? No, do I know what's getting communicated in their playbook? Absolutely not. 
Would I say that I wouldn't mind seeing him try to drive it down the field? Like, yeah, I could say that. I could say that and I could be honest saying it. With all that being said, we're still going to mark it as a good. That's a drop on Komet. And hey, we're going to move forward with the kid. But yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing him hold the ball with his eyes downfield just a little bit longer to see like, hey, can we drive one of these corner routes? I wouldn't mind it, okay? This is what I really think is going to be the deal breaker, the deal maker, the deal maker, because we're making a deal. This is going to be the deal maker this season, is the fact that on third down, we've got third and eight, is that now, okay, and just like Justin could do, so let's not throw shade at Justin. I don't want this to be like a, oh, let's dump on Justin. What I want this to be is let's move forward and look at what we've got. Man, the fact that we can get in third and long, the Bills are going to play coverage, right? We got man coverage. So look at this. All these backs turn to the quarterback, right? We got man coverage, probably two man. Didn't really peek out it from the wide, but I got to guess it's two man. Okay, they're going to give us this little bit of a move. They're going to give us like a little, look at this, boom. They're going to try to get us with that, right? Look at this. Look what they're trying to get us with. They're trying to give us an even front where we got two threes and they're going to try to do this to us, huh? That's what they think they can do to us. Well, guess what, bud? Third and nine. Go ahead, make a play and protect yourself. So that's pretty dang exciting. Now we've just got a traditional naked, right? We are in naked. Okay, what's naked? It's boot. Remember what we talked about with the ladder reads? All right, team, I hope you enjoyed those seven clips. But like I said earlier, okay, you football junkies, there are more clips in the longer breakdowns over on Patreon. So we've got two more clips for you. What I think might be Caleb Williams' best throw on a little over out to DJ Moore, plus a little red zone throwaway. Those are the other two clips I've got for you guys. And team, I really want you guys to comment. You let me know what you thought of Caleb's debut. Okay, I want to know what you guys thought of Caleb's debut. I want to let you, I want you guys to let me know what you think of the new setup. How's the sound coming in? We doing okay? Um, but other than that, man, I'm excited to have you. I hope you guys stick around for the whole season. We're going to have an absolute blast um breaking down chicago it's gonna be fun we're gonna do we're gonna do caleb williams the whole season so i hope you guys enjoyed it um i hope if you can you jump over to patreon you do that if you can't i hope you like subscribe little comment for the algorithm and until next time peace